Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. In this video, I'm going to talk about some ways that we can increase the energy within our bodies, increase the chi energy or life force within us while we sleep by aligning our bodies along or across the Earth's magnetic field or planes, planes across or with the Earth's magnetic field. And before I go any further, let's talk a little bit about magnetoreception. What is magnetoreception? Magnetoreception is the ability for animals and uh, various organisms to use the Earth's magnetic field to accomplish functions uh, within their life or, or for survival. Like some animals use it to navigate, some animals use it just to orient themselves for, for various reasons. And I guess the best known example of animals using magnetoreception are birds. We know that birds can fly very long distances and they don't need a map. It's because they use magnetoreception. They have a map within their bodies, within their head. And they know exactly what to do. It's, it's instinctive, it's natural. They have it within them. And uh, we as people, we also have magnetoreception. And we, we don't really know all the ways that we can use it because we've lost our way so much and we, we're so disconnected from nature that we have lots of dormant functions that we're not aware that we can use. And I'm going to talk about in this video some ways that we can use magnetoreception to help us increase the energy or the chi that we get that develops when we sleep. And I'll go right into the topic. The foundation of my information is from Eastern philosophy or Chinese medicine, which is two or three thousand year old ancient practice. And the, the specific uh, label of this area of Chinese medicine is called Feng Shu or Feng Shui. Excuse me if my pronunciation is wrong. But according to Feng Shu, the way you organize your room or the way you organize your body position as you sleep. And when I say body position or orientation, I mean aligning your body north, south, east, or west. I mean, I mean like that. That's what I mean by aligning your body or orienting your body. And again, according to Feng Shui theory, how you do this and how you set up your room determines how you absorb chi energy or the type of chi energy that you absorb within your body. And it also affects how regenerative your sleep is. And in this video, I'm going to just cover the four basic cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west, and how laying in these positions along these planes affect your body. And again, the information is very general and it's a very small amount of information from, from a, 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 a whole philosophy. A very small piece of information for, from a whole area of philosophy. And uh, I'll get right to it. The north position is the worst position to lay your body in. When I say north position, that means head facing north and your feet facing the south. This position is known as the death position. It's very energy draining. It could, it could cause you to have ins insomnia and it's just seen as or and considered just not a good position to sleep in. It's ca again, called the death position. And that's not a pretty name. The next position that's, that, that uh, gets like, has like a negative reputation is the western position sleeping in the western position and it is said that sleeping in the western position makes you more content with everything and if you're content contentment can lead to laziness and you you're, you're less productive in your life so this you may want to avoid this too depending on what your goals are in your life 
And the next two positions that I'm going to talk about, the south and the east, they have quite positive, uh, they're, quite, they're quite positive in, in what I've learned about them. I'll start with the southern position. The southern position is very energetic. It's the opposite of the north position. It promotes more passion and more intensity within you, within your life, within the energy, within the energy that you have within your body. And this can be a good thing, this can be a bad thing, because you know too much passion can make you, you know, argumentative or make you come off the wrong way to people. So this can work against you. It could all go it could also work for you. So consider that. And uh, the last position position that I'm gonna talk about, which is considered the best position to be in, to sleep in, is the eastern position, head facing east, feet facing west. And in this position, it is said to promote optimism and ambition. So if you want to be productive in your life, this is said to be the best position to sleep in. And uh, now I'm going to share with you my experience and how I discovered this and what feng, feng shu means to me. All right. Uh, at this point in my life, um, I'm on a path of trying to become more conscious. I'm trying to really raise my consciousness because I realize there's whole there's a, a whole other part of life that I'm, I'm missing and I'm trying to find that. But this is how I discovered Feng Shu. I discovered Feng Shu like I didn't know about it. I hadn't read anything about it. I just I just kind of discovered like that you know this that how we orient our bodies in our sleep affects how we sleep and I discovered it because my job it requires me to to move often so I, I have different living quarters quite often so my, my my bed is probably oriented all different ways and I've never noticed but I noticed that this present place where I moved I noticed that my sleep was just draining 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 me and over months I, I began to notice that you know something's wrong and instinctually, I just turned my head the opposite way in my bed. And I realized that my energy was really improving, like dramatically. Like I was going to, I went to sleep, almost immediately, I was going to sleep right away. And I was waking up earlier and my energy was super in comparison to the way everything was going just prior to that. And... And also instinctually, I just, I said, hmm, which way is my body aligned to in relation to the Earth's uh, magnetic field or the cardinal directions? So I pulled out my compass and I, I checked it and I realized that I was in the north position, the death position. And at this time, I didn't know about the death position or the north position, but I, after learning this, after learning the, the position of my body, I, I shared the information with, uh, with someone that's far more knowledgeable about the topic than I am. And they knew about the Feng Shu theory and they explained to me what my intuition already felt and already kind of knew. And they confirmed, they confirmed my, my, my feelings or my, my instincts. And it led me to, to, to look into this more and learn more about it and add it to my to my knowledge and add it add it to my my awakening and yeah this this was a very uh, eye-opening experience for me and now I'm sharing the information with you and I'll stop here so I hope that this, this video gave you some good information I hope this information helps you out a lot and uh, if, if you found it helpful uh, please like my video. Please subscribe to my videos because I have lots, of, lot more information coming. And my information is about becoming more awakened. It's about energy. It's about nature. It's about a spiritual journey that I'm taking that I want to, I guess, expand by reaching out to other like-minded individuals or souls such as myself.
So thank you so much. I really appreciate you checking my video out. Also comment. If you have comments, I'll learn from you. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Have a nice existence. Have a good day.